So moving to the next script, we're going to be using HTTP enum. So this is going to list for us really interesting files and directories on web servers. When you do this, you're trying to find out what sort of structure it's been built on. And you can see from the results, images and shared, it says potentially interesting directories with listings. So when you perform listing means it's brute forcing and it uses a built-in script to perform quickly directory listing containing some interesting links that could be containing sensitive information. So now we're going to show you another similar attack and we're going to use the same script, which is the HTTP enum. However, we're going to give it script arguments and this is going to be a more advanced way to scan it. We're going to give it display all, which is going to give us more information about the directory listing. It's going to do more as well, brute forcing specific POC links that could lead to vulnerabilities like LFI, SSDI and more. You can see from here the results is different. It gave us more results as well. As you can see, there is an LFI attack that you can see a traversal attack as well, which is very important because the way you choose and you customize your script depends on the information you want to fetch. So obviously when you do bigger attacks, it takes more time, but when you get the results, you get them differently and more information are contained. So at this point, we're going to also show you another technique. This time we're going to be using a different type, which is SQL. So SQL injection as well still is available on certain databases. We're going to use the same technique and methodology, which is going to give us HTTP SQL injection on the website that you can see from here. This time we're going to export everything as well into XML. And we have attempted the start of the scan. What at this point Nmap is doing, it's actually injecting different payloads using SQL. So as you can see within a few seconds, around 49 seconds later, you did get a lot of results and you can confirm from here that it is vulnerable to SQL injection. All of the links that you can see from here, it's important because it's also applying the encoding. And this is what makes the difference because when you perform SQL injection, you need to do it with the right encoding in order to get the results.